Hey y'all, it's me again, Valerie, and welcome back to my yarn room, yay! Okay, <laughs> today we are going to sew up our hood. Okay, it's not that hard. Okay. So this is our hood. It just looks like a big rectangle. Yeah. So, we're going to take this corner, and it don't matter what corner you start with. Okay? And I'm going to go to this corner. And we're going to fold it in half. To make more like a more like a square shape. See? We folded the long ways together. Alright. Oh. How am I going to do this so that y'all can see what I'm doing? I don't have no idea. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Okay, I'm going to take my tail. And I... I I don't know about y'all, but I like to leave a, a good little bit of a tail so that I'm not struggling to sew in the end of a one-inch piece. So, I like long tails. I know it wastes yarn, but no yarn gets wasted with me because I use it for, um, I, I cut it into one-inch pieces um, because otherwise it gets tangled with the birds. You, you got to cut it in small pieces if you're going to do it with the birds. Because they use it to make nests. Um, so no bigger than one inch pieces. Um, I use it for filler with um, amigurumis and stuff. Um, yeah, so I don't waste yarn at all. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm going to leave a long tail. And what I'm going to do is, to keep with the pattern of, um, of this design, I'm going to go in the front loop on the panel that is facing me. And then on the panel... That's facing that's facing the the, the desk. Um, I'm gonna go into the back loop of that one, okay? And I'm gonna grab my yarn and I'm gonna pull it through. And I'm gonna chain one just to lock it in there, okay? All right, now. In the very next stitch, in the panel closest to me, I'm going to go into the front loop, and the panel that's next to the desk, I'm going to go into the back loop. I'm going to pull my yarn through, and I'm going to slip stitch. But I'm doing this very loosely so that it doesn't draw my work together. You do it loose and it'll stay real straight. Okay. And I'm going to do this the entire length of this hood. So, I'm going to go into the front loop there. 
and I'm going to go into the back loop there. Wait a minute. I'm, I'm supposed to be working over my tail here, but I'm messing up. Okay, so front loop. Back loop. And we're going to slip stitch. There we go. Okay. So, I'll go to the next one. And we're going to front loop on this one. And we're going to back loop on this one. And we're going to slip stitch. And we're going to go into the next one. And front loop. Back loop. Pull the yarn through. And slip stitch. And like I said, do it loose. That way it doesn't draw your work together and make your hat look wonky. Okay? Anyway, now, that's what we're going to do the entire one side of the hood. The other side, we do not do that to. We leave it open. So it's kind of like a triangle pocket. Okay? Alright, so just slip stitch one side, fold it long ways in half, and stitch down one side. You got this. I don't need to explain that. Okay, now. Hold on just one minute, and we'll be back, or I'll be back, and I'll show you how to make the latch, okay? All right, here we go. Okay, this is the latch. This is what we're going to sew onto our scarf, and we're just going to sew it right here. And right here, onto the scarf. That way, this part is open. That way, when you want to latch your scarf, you take one end and stick it through your latch. Okay, so that that's what... Yeah. Okay, so let me show you how to make the latch. Which is just like... The hood and just like the scarf so we do a slip dot and we tighten it down but not too tight and we chain three four five six seven eight because we want seven stitches I did the math. It works out. Yeah. Um, so we want seven stitches, so we chained eight. So we're doing half double crochet. So in the first row, we're going to yarn over and we're going to go into the second bump right there on the back. And we're going to do a half double. And then we're going to do a half double in each stitch all the way down. This yarn splits like crazy. Worse than any Karen Simply Soft. <laughs> I'm not a fan of that. I'm not a fan of any yarn inspiration yarn. Now, I'm not saying it's bad, because I use it. I've got plenty of yarn inspiration yarn. I'm just not a fan. But if it's cheap enough, I will get it. Okay, we got all of our half doubles. We're going to chain one. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
like I said, I did the math. If you did the numbers just like me, it works. Okay, we chained one. Now we're going to come over here. And in the first one, we're going to go through both loops. Okay? And we're going to do a half double. Now, in the very next one, we're just going back loop. And in the next one, we're just going back loop. And in the next one, back loop. And the next one, yeah, you guessed it, back loop. <laughs> and in the next one back loop. Okay, now, we have our one right here on the end that is in both loops. And then we have our five right here in the middle that is just in the back loop. Now, the one here on this end, yeah, we're going to go through both loops. And we're going to chain one. Now, the reason why we do that, the reason why I do that, on the ends, it gives more stability than just going through one loop. Okay? It, it holds the work better. It looks, to me, it looks neater. If you want to just go into back loops on them also, go for it. Like I've said, make it yours. Um, don't worry about what anybody else says. Do what makes you happy. Okay, so, for mine, I did a chain of eight in the second chain from the hook. I started my half double crochets in the back bump. And the reason why is because you turn your work and, well, let me take that hook out. Okay. That's where I did my chain. Because see that? That's my slip knot right there. So that's my chain right there and then my one that I pulled up. Okay, now, turn it. You see it, right? You see the V's. That way, when it comes time to sew it to the scarf, well, ain't no, ain't no, um, guessing of where your stitch is. Because they are right there. And then at the other end, well, there's the V's. So, no guesswork of where your stitch is. It's right there. That's why I do the back bump. It's just very, it, it's much neater work. But like I was saying, okay. For my latch, I did seven stitches across, ten rows. Okay, so, y'all do that, and we've already sewed the hat up the back, we've already made all the components for it except for the latch, tomorrow, I'll come back on here, and I'll show you how I sew the latch onto the scarf. Okay? And that's why I have really long tails. Because I'm going to use these tails to sew it onto the scarf. Alright, so, i see you tomorrow for another grand adventure in Val's Yarn Room. 
<laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, I'm so tired. I think I'm going to take a nap. <laughs> Sit right here in my yarn room and take a nap. All right, leave me a comment. Hit that like button if you like it. Uh, tell a friend, tell a neighbor, tell a family member, tell your favorite cashier, tell a postman, tell everybody about Val's Yarn Room. We're having a lot of fun over here. All right, y'all. See you tomorrow. Bye, y'all.